Next on the docket, let's get right into it. This is a guy that we've actually been pretty excited about, right? Montel Jackson. I think we've seen him fight a few times. The Brett Johns fight, that was, that was a loss, but how exciting was that fight? You know, he had him on the ground in the first round, dropped him so well. I think he's one of those exciting strikers. Right? Anytime we see these long style strikers, we get so excited. Maybe it's the John Jones effect. Everybody's seen what that looks like at the absolute best. And so we kind of get addicted to it, right? The Max Holloway, like punch and punch and, and step out and try to use your head movement. But a lot of these guys take damage, right? Like that's the big thing. I actually did watch the Jesse Strader fight. When you look at the way that he finished that fight, I mean, it's a beautiful highlight reel, like an absolutely gorgeous highlight reel. But in Combat Americas, one thing I've noticed is my hands don't really stay up in a very defensive way in the grand scheme of things. It's very much, you know, if you're all about the excitement, I mean, that's a, that's a great promotion to keep your eyes on because he kind of swings like this, you know, he just comes in really almost like a, like a cartoon villain kind of thing. And it just, everything lined up so well for him. And that last little combo that just ended the fight, just put the man right out. And, you know, you don't knock it till you watch it because frankly, he was landing massive blows to the body and it wasn't just one punch. Like he was trying to follow them up. You know, he had good leg kicks, things like that. But at the same time, those hands need to be up. And a guy get, and against a guy like Montel Jackson, you're kind of asking yourself, is this a man you want to keep your hands down with? Because when I look at his previous fights, you know, Ricky Simone, those, those are wrestlers. Those are really good wrestlers, Brett Johns. When you look at the way Brett Johns won that fight, it was mostly because he kept control. He did not let Montel Jackson get his distance, get into his range and start feeling him out. You know, he did not let that happen. I think that's how he was able to steal those rounds in the way he did. But Ricky Simone, right? We're starting to see him really come into his own overall. And when you look at that fight, kind of the same thing, right? So we're seeing a trend of the wrestler kind of have their way with him. And I like the striking and I like the chin, especially. I think that he's the kind of guy also that can go three rounds pretty easily. He looked really good against, against Johns, but this is where I, I just, you know, the chin is going to be tested, but I, I guess both sides are right. Like I would consider a potential under in this fight because there is a chance that one of these guys just get absolutely knocked because of the way uh, Jesse's attacking this fight. I mean, if he goes in like that, like that machine terminator style, I mean, one of them are going to get dropped in my opinion, but you know, that's where I kind of see if you had to make a decision in this fight, you know, it's going to be a slobber knocker. I think these guys are going to absolutely bang. And, you know, I think the takedown defense might be something that comes into play here, right? If, if he doesn't want to see the ground and he keeps the fight standing, I think he can outpoint know, point Jesse right till the end. Uh, that's that's kind of where you know the lack of power if that ever happens you know jesse's also a pretty thick guy like he comes in pretty muscular so if he looks a bit tired or, or anything in the third round who knows maybe we can see a finish uh from the montel jackson side but again i would say you know outside of the lack of like real good striking defense from jesse the power was there the combos to the body were there the leg kicks are there he's just got to be able to avoid the distance and point fight point fighting with him because i think that's an area where he's probably going to lose and if he can find a way to, you know, use any of his wrestling skill and grappling against a guy like Montel Jackson, that's the real way to win. We've seen it in the past. And I think exposing that side of it makes this fight a lot easier for you than having to stand there and just take a bunch of nice jabs and, you know, probably some good kicks to, to follow up. But yeah, I think that one's going to be an absolutely beautiful fight. And yeah, I mean, if you wanted to lean towards maybe a finish in that one, I would say that's a pretty good bet because one of these guys might get dropped for sure, whether it's a submission or, 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 a, or an actual finish. I mean, let's see, but. I'm pretty excited for that one.